finally! Thank fucking god! I'm home! Who missed me? Who missed me? Be honest! Hi, gamers. Hello! 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 New camera angle. No, this is a normal camera angle. Wait, is it a new... No, this is a new one. This is the... No! This is my usual camera angle. Hiya! <laughs> how are you all feeling today? My name is Amzu, if you are new here. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how are we all feeling today? I've also got chewing gum in my mouth. Why did you just one chatter? I have an issue. I have an issue which is called someone will say something to me and I will believe them wholeheartedly. Who is this distinguished gentleman, you ask? This is Marcel. Gucky got him for me when I was away. I love him. He is, look. Look at him. He's so strong. He's so strong. Where is Bucket? Bucket wasn't mine, chat. Bucket wasn't mine. Bucket was the officer's. Bucket was the officer's. I'm gonna put my chewing gum in my little napkin. He's a buff little lad, boys. He's a buff little lad. Um, the hello everyone. How you guys feeling? Hope you guys having a beautiful day. Got me coffee. Buff. He's buff. But hello, hi gamers. If you wanna do me a massive favor, gamers, if you wanna tweet out the stream, please do. It is my first stream back. I have had gamers, 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 gamers. My myself, myself. Stop talking, myself. Sorry, myself just started singing. It's okay. Um, but basically, gamers, I had a very long day today, and I'm live. I had a, such a long day today, and I am live. If that isn't dedication, I don't know what else is. Um, because basically, I have done a three. Okay, so four hour. Wait, okay, so four plus the. Plus eight hours, plus an hour and a half. I've done a very long day. I've had a very long day. And I'm live today. So if you guys want to turn out the stream and say, hey guys, Amesy's live, please come watch because Amesy deserves uh, some viewers. That would be lovely. That'd be so kind of you, actually. Um, but yeah, are you guys ready for the are you guys ready for the Florida story times? Let me get some yes or no's in chat. Let me get some yes or no's in chat. Are you guys excited for the 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 yo, ye old ye old story time? Yeah, we're excited. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Good. What I want to hear. Actually, what I want to hear all the time. I want to hear you guys are ready. Ready, steady, as the kids say, actually. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've missed you guys. I've missed you guys. How was my flight back? You're going to hear all about it. You're gonna hear all about it, okay? You're gonna hear all about it, all right? Okay, right, gamers, gamers, gamers. Let's have a conversation. So, I went to Florida. I went to Florida, you know? I went to, I went to Florida. That was fun, you know? It was great, you know, I did a lot of photo shoots. But let's start at the beginning, okay? Let's start at the beginning of the trip. So, I'm gonna turn on the music a little bit. We need to, we need to get some, uh, we need to get some, we need to get some different music on for them. We're gonna, we're gonna go to the... We're gonna move on to the, the Night in the Woods soundtrack. Okay, chat. I need you guys to be very into this, okay? I need you guys to be very into it. I need you guys to be, you know, what's the word? Um, chatting with me. You know what I mean? I know other people are live right now. You don't have to tell me. You're watching my stream, okay? And you guys are gonna listen to me, okay? Right. So, so today, obviously, I went to I went to Florida and I went with uh, a couple of friends. And what we did, we did, we did some shooting, you know? We did some shooting for, for Misfits and we did some stuff. But, from the beginning. So, as you guys don't know, to get to Florida, I have to go to somewhere called Heathrow Airport. Heathrow Airport is the bane of my fucking existence. No, not guns, you dumbasses. Shooting, like, filming. Anyway, if you guys weren't here, if you guys weren't here for the first time I ever did a I Hate Airport stream... You probably don't know that I have an issue. I have a genuine issue with Heathrow Airport, okay? I have an absolute issue, right? I hate Heathrow. I hate Heathrow Airport so much. You may be wondering, Amy, why do you hate this airport so much? What is wrong with Heathrow Airport? I'll explain. It is, okay, one, Heathrow Airport, for some reason, is just not fun. 
I hate airports. I hate most airports, okay? But there's something about Heathrow, and I feel like the problem is because I go to Heathrow so often, you know? I go to Heathrow so often, so the reason I hate it more is because I go there more. Does that make any sense? So, like, because I, I'm, 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 I see it more time, exposed to Heathrow Airport more, I hate it more than I do any other airport, you know? I just don't like Heathrow Airport. So I am getting up. I'm getting my ass up. I hadn't slept. I hadn't slept. I was getting my ass out of bed at five in the morning to get to Heathrow Airport. Why did you go to Heathrow? You can't go anywhere else. You can't go to anywhere else. You have to go to Heathrow Airport. So I'm getting my ass out of my bed at five in the morning to go to Heathrow Airport. You know, we 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 meet up with with Ran, with Freddie, with Bill, and our friend Danny, and we go. We go to we go to ye old Heathrow. Okay. And as we're going in, you know, it's fine. It's very early. All of us are very exhausted, okay? All of us are very, very, very tired. It's it's not fun. You know, you put a bunch of creators in in a taxi at one at five in the morning, it is not gonna be a fun time. Something's gonna go wrong, everyone's gonna be cranky, everyone's exhausted. You know how it goes. You all know how these things are well, okay? They don't bode well. Okay? So we get to the airport, we do all the thing, we get checked in, yada 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 yada. However, so, our friend Bill. As you guys know, you guys know Bill. Can I get some? Can I get some yeses if you know Bill in the chat? Get everyone, everyone in chat. You guys, you guys know Bill. You guys know Bill. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's funny. So, um, you may be thinking, oh, this is gonna be the insulin story. Wrong. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're not yet there. We're not there yet. So, Bill, being Bill, decides to think. Decides to bring. I should say. A, 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 wait. So Bill brings a suitcase, a skateboard, and a guitar. You know, it's fine. You know, you know, it's fine. You know, he wants to bring some stuff over to Florida so we can have fun. That is absolutely fine. Until it isn't. Because we had to queue up to go, you know, to, you know, send off our luggage. We go through, this is the story of getting to Florida. And then we're going to do the actual story time. So we queue up throughout all of this, you know, all of this goddamn... You know, you, you guys know how airport queues are. They're fucking dreadful, okay? They are dreadful. So we're in this queue, getting ready, checking our bags. We get to there. It takes a good, like, 20 minutes, right? Uh, which isn't that bad, but it's 2 in the morning. Like, I mean, 5 in the morning. We're all very tired. We get to the front. They start checking in our bags, right? It's fine. Then it gets to Bill. You know, the, the woman turns around and she goes, hey, you can't bring that. So, I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? So, wait, what? Uh, no, <laughs> repeat the question. No, uh, re repeat the question. What did you just say to me? The woman replies, you have to go to a different place to go check in the guitar. So I'm sitting there, I'm starving, and I'm like, ooh, where is it we're gonna have to go? We had to go all the way to the special baggage thing, all the way to the other side of the fucking airport, okay? So we start fucking moseying over to the fucking other side of the airport. I am so tired at this point. I'm like, fucking god damn it, Bill, why the fuck did you bring a guitar? I'm exhausted. I'm so out of it. It is too early. It is too fucking early. So we check in this guitar finally, right? Remember this guitar. I need you all to okay, I need you all to go into your brain, make a mental note of this guitar. Everyone, have you done it? You got the mental note of the guitar? It's in your head? It's in your head, right? Hi, Michaela. The guitar's in your head, correct? Right? Yes? Great. Now we're moving on. So, we go through security. Everything is fine. We're going through security. It's great. Um, we go through, and as we get through security, the all of us are on the same consensus that we need food. We are starving. It is too early. We need something in our stomachs. We're about to be on a plane for 10 hours, okay? We need to get something in our system, otherwise we're gonna be we're gonna be very gross. And as you guys know, I can't eat plain food. I can't do it. I can't stomach plain food. It is I can't do it. So I have to eat as much as I can before the plane because I won't be able to eat on the fly. Which is fine. Um, so basically we go to one of these local little, you know, we go to this little little uh little cafe, little like breakfast area, right? Everything's great, everything's fine, okay? 
Everything's fine. We're sitting down. Right, now I'm going to do a little demonstration for you all now. Everyone, I need you guys to listen, okay? So we're sitting down. We're sitting down, okay? This is me. This is me sitting down. We're sitting down. We're waiting. We're, we're kind of patient, okay? USA Airport. No, this is the UK Airport. This is a UK Airport. This is London Airport, okay? Anyway. So we sit down and we're getting the menus and on the menus, you know, it's breakfast and stuff like that. And they also have um, like, you know, they have like cocktails and stuff like that. Okay. Everything is going swell. We order breakfast. We get some, we get some drinks. We are waiting at the table. Now, as we are waiting for our food to come, the food comes and the drinks, you know, you know, we all drink, we have some orange juice, you know, we have some orange juice, we all, like, drink some orange juice, all of us do, right? And then our food comes, and, um, Bill turns to us with a grin. I look at Bill, and I go, Bill, what's, what's, what's funny? What, what's so funny over there, Bill? Uh, what's go, what's go, Bill, what's going on over there? What's, go what's going on over there, uh, in your brain? Bill turns to me. I look at him back. Bill stares at me and goes, My insulin was in my guitar case. I, I had to speed run the stages of grief because this motherfucker was crying laughing. He was having, he was, he was, he thought this was hilarious, okay? Not in the way that losing his insulin was hilarious. It's just the fact that he managed to do something so stupid. You know what I mean? Do you know, you guys get it? Do you know when you do something so stupid, all you can do is laugh because you're like, oh, I'm fucked. It was like that. So Bill is laughing while I'm on the other side of the spectrum because it isn't me, but I am worried. So I am stressing the fuck out, okay? I am like, oh my fucking God, oh my fucking God. As, of, as Bill has explained to you guys before, when it comes to me and Bill, it is very more often than not that I look after him, okay? Like very much when we go on trips, I'm usually the one that's like, okay, you got this, you got this, you got this, you got this, you're right? I am not kidding when I literally, I am fucking, I am losing my mind over here. I'm Googling ways that we can try and get it. I am doing all of this shit, right? But no. There is no way we are able to get the insulin pen back. Now, it is about an hour until we board. And Bill says to us, it is going to be fine. It is going to be fine. I just, I'm going to have to sleep on the plane. And then I'm just going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to in have my insulin after when we get off. I'm in my head. I'm like, wrong, terrible idea. That's not going to be fine. It was, in fact, not fine. Um, because then we get on the plane. Now, I need to reiterate, we have all, we've all had orange juice, you know? We have all had a bit of snacks. You know what orange juice has? High sugar. So, we get on the plane. It was an Airbus. It was an Airbus. Uh, I'll actually tell you the model of the plane because I wrote it down because I really liked it. it, it, it it's it, it's not my favorite plane because the Boeing 777 is my favorite plane. But we went on a uh, Airbus A380. Airbus A380. So we are boarding up. We are moseying on onto this good old, you know, Airbus. You know what I mean? And it's fine. You know, we're all sitting at very like awkward places, okay? Because I'm sitting on my own. Ran is also sitting on their own. Um, but basically, um, Freddy, Bill, and our friend Danny like actually managed to get their seats all together. So they're sitting together. I'm somewhere, I'm like a little bit over and then Ran's a little bit back, right? It is fine. So we're on this plane. It is a huge plane. We're on this plane, it is fine. I actually don't have anyone sitting next to me. So I'm having a wonderful time, you know? I'm like, let's fucking go. I get to have a great time. So now we're gonna speed run. So it was about like, I'll say 
three hours i managed to sleep that was about it okay i slept before we took off and then i woke back up i was hoping i would sleep the entire time right because i had one of those moments i don't know if anyone else had these moments when they go into planes or anything like that you have those moments where you wake up and you genuinely feel like it should be like you it, you should have been able to sleep like eight hours i did not um i i i in fact did not i in fact did not uh, i slept for literally three hours if that and then I couldn't sleep for the rest of the fucking plane. I had seven hours left of this goddamn plane ride. I wanted to die. It was fine. It was fine. So, um, we're moving on. We're moving on. So, I wake up in this plane and I like kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, what the fuck am I going to do now? So, I get up off my seat and I kind of just walk around to go see, you know, Freddy, Bill and Danny. So I go sit there. Ran is asleep next to them. Um, like, Ran is, like, a little bit over asleep. Uh, and those three, Bill is asleep, and Freddy is awake, and so is Danny. So I go over, and I'm like, you guys okay? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go to check up on Bill. Bill's asleep. So I'm like, okay, thank God, Bill is asleep. This is fine. You know, it's fine. He's asleep. It's all chill. It's all good. It wasn't all good. Because we, I gotta sit back down. I gotta sit back down. Everything's good. Everything's fine. And, you know, I start watching Frozen 2. I'm having a, I love Frozen 2. Frozen 2 is brilliant. I watch most of the action. I actually watch most of the movie. Um, you guys don't know Frozen 2. It is brilliant. It is famous among lesbians. Uh, it is great. So what happens is I turn my head. I turn my head and I look behind me. And I see Bill and Freddy getting up. And I'm like, oh, okay. What's going on here? Mm, don't know. This is where it all goes bad. Um, I'm not. I, I'm gonna spare some details in case Bill wants to do a story time of this himself. If Bill does, pretend you've never heard the story before, okay? But basically, so we're on this plane, and I go to sit. So basically, Freddy and Bill get up and they go to the back of the plane, um, and I go over to where Bill and Freddy were originally sitting. I sit next to our friend Danny and I sit down, and I'm like, "What the fuck is going on?" And Danny turns to me and Danny's like, "Bill, like Bill's unwell. You know, Bill is not well." um and i'm like oh fuck ran is asleep ran is like knocked out a little bit over and i'm like a bit like oh shit you know i turn to look at the back of the bus at uh, the back of the bus back of the plane and bill is white like bill like bill's white anyway but bill is fucking white you know like it is bad and i'm like oh shit we have at this point we have like four hours left of our plane ride It is not good, okay? So we carry on. Um, Bill's in the back. Freddy's with him. I'm sitting down. The flight attendant comes over to us to talk to us for a little bit about what's going on. Basically, what the issue was, and a couple of people in chat have said, oh, but they have emergency insulin. Correct. They do. You are all forgetting, okay? Bill is on board, right? The problem is they can't just give somebody insulin on board. They are not allowed to. They have to get confirmation. They have to get approval and then they have to do it. They physically can't just give it to somebody. You can't do that. Because the problem is, is that somebody could, one, could be lying about it. Because they can't just pull up records on board. They can't just pull up somebody's records and be like, okay, yeah, you got it. We can inject you. They have different types of insulin, especially with different types of what people need. Yada, yada, yada. It's a whole fucking process, okay? So the problem is, yes, they did have these insulin things on board, but they couldn't give it to him. It was bad, okay? Bill was not well. And obviously, as you know, as you know, as Bill already said, um, Bill, Bill, yeah, Bill crashed. It was bad. Um, what happened was Bill actually managed, why did they have it? Because they are able to get approval sometimes. And especially if, um, if for example, right? Uh, I'm trying to think of an example. If somebody comes on a board already having pre-approved, if it's a pre-approval, for example, it's like um, if if Bill were to say as we got on, or like if one of us, oh, I don't know. I don't know the best way to explain it, but if there's a pre-approval case, then yes, he would have been able to have it. Um... Yes, his, uh, also his sugars were high. Anyway, also everyone, this has already happened. I love people like, oh my god, you should have done this. Boys, this has already happened. We can't go back in time. We can't go back in time. It's already happened. Anyway, so the plane lands. Bill's already been rushed to the front. Um, Bill's rushed, rushed to the front with Freddy. And we're all in the back, okay? And so basically me, our friend Danny, and Ran, we end up getting out. Um, 
Freddy and Bill are rushed through security at TSA. Because if you guys know, if you go to America, you've got to go through TSA, which is, you know, to confirm why you're there, yada, yada, yada. They get rushed through. However, I'm going to explain my fucking problem with this, okay? And I'm, I want you guys to listen to me. Yeah, customs. So, this really annoyed me, okay? Because basically, the problem was, Bill and Freddy were rushed through that bill could get medical attention and also so he could get his insulin and he could go from there because he was really unwell he was sick okay right he was very sick the problem however was bill and freddy couldn't leave without us right bill and freddy were not able to leave without me our friend danny and ran because you know like we were going we had to all go together we had to all go together we had to go through together we explained that and they wouldn't let us they were like, no. They were like, no, no, it's not. Like, they were like, no, you guys are gonna have to go through customs. Okay, you guys gonna have to go through customs. Goodbye. You guys have to go through customs. And you have to wait for the uh, wait for them at the other side, right? Which I found fucking ridiculous. Okay, because they should have oh, they should have thought about the fact that we had to also go with them because Bill and Freddy were stuck for another sixty minutes. While me and Danny had to go through fucking customs. Because Ran went straight through because Ran is American. But me and Danny had to go through customs. And it was 60 fucking minutes. We had a lovely Scouse woman on the plane. A very lo lovely English woman. And basically they explained to us. She was like, she was. She basically said to us, I'm going to try my absolute best. I'm going to try my, it was Miami Airport. She was like, she was like I'm going to try my best to get you guys like through but then she came back to us and she was like, they're not letting you. They were like, they're not, we can't, we physically can't. They, they, the American, the American like customs officer, they're saying no. You guys are just gonna have to go with customs and hope for the best. I was like, I'm fucking sorry. I'm sorry. So we, so literally I had to go through fucking customs for an hour, a whole hour in this line, in this sweaty airport hoping for just to get through we get through it takes literally i'm not even kidding it takes 20 seconds that was it it was 20 seconds of them just check this is what they did i'm gonna show you guys what they did ready ready i'm gonna do a demonstration are you going okay that's what they fucking did that was all they did 60 fucking seconds no it took 60 seconds i was in the line for an hour so obviously me and Danny rush out, we find Ran, and then we see Bill and Freddy. And Bill is on the floor being sick into a bag. Bill is not well, and but, but he's perking up at this point. Okay, he's he's less unwell because he's had his insulin and he's like he's he can't eat anything though, and he's 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 being sick on the floor. And I walk out and I'm like, oh my fucking god, are you fucking kidding me? Right? And so Bill, so Bill's sitting on the floor. So is Fred's. I'm with. I, we're getting our luggage, and then we're we're like, shit. We need to go straight. We need to go straight to the fucking hotel, okay? Straight to the hotel. So we do that. Um, basically, what happens? We wait for Bill to kind of steady himself, and then we get some Ubers and we go straight to the hotel. And Bill gets checked, okay? Now, that was that was. Now Bill is okay, okay? Bill is okay now. All right. Bill managed to get his levels in check. He had a lot of medicine. He's okay now. He had fluids. He's good. He's okay now, okay? Um, but yeah, it was fucking awful. It was awful because, um, like, it was, a, it was an interesting start of the trip. And it wasn't his fault. It was really frustrating because there was also there, there was a um there was there was a goddamn um there was there was a there was an American uh officer that asked what was wrong with Bill. And Ran replied and Ran was like, um, oh, like he forgot his insulin. And the fucking guy was like, well, he should have been smarter about that. <laughs> My boy is on the floor throwing up and you think it's funny that you're gonna start cheeking him right now? Are you fucking joking? Dude, I I was I'm so glad I wasn't there when that was said. I would have I would not have lost him lying. The American officer would have killed me. Um, but yeah, it was bad. Obviously, Bill didn't fucking mean to do it. You know what I mean? And that's the thing. He did not mean to. And it's like, it was so frustrating that that was like a thing a cop would have said. Where he literally was like, oh, well, he should have been careful next time. Oh, well, he should have done it. 
You shouldn't have done that. It's like, oh my god, good job. Fucking congratulations. You win an award. Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. Genuinely. Anyway. Um, so... We... So anyway, so we get back to the... We get back to the hotel. Um, and then, yeah. So Bill goes to sleep. And that is basically it, okay? Uh, that is basically it. And then, you know, it's all okay. It's all okay. Bill's better now. Bill's a lot better now. But Jesus Christ. It was... Yeah. 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 So we make it. We make it to Florida. Whippee! Um... He actually, no, uh, yeah, he did, he slept okay, yeah. He had a lot of fluids, we made sure he was okay, we got his level checked out, he was okay. Um, so the next day then, we had a, what's the word? We had a, a shoot, we had a, like a video shoot, right? And in this video shoot, it was me and a Freddy. As you guys know, for some of the Misfits videos, a lot of the time there's like, um, they're like two and twos. Like, if that makes any sense, like two and two people will do a video. Um, at this time, it was like, the people who were out in Florida this time was um it was me it was ran freddy bill cpk and sniff um and it, that was it basically it was like because of scheduling issues it was it was meant to be like everybody but a lot of people couldn't come and then other people had to drop out um so that that was like the remainder of people i was like the remainder remainder group right um so then we so then me and freddy did a shoot right and the problem with me right i have i have sensitive skin okay I've explained this, I explained this um, on, on, on my stream yesterday. I have very sensitive skin, um, which means I break out very easily. I don't know if anyone else in chat, anyone else in chat are like that? By any chance, is there anyone else here that's like exactly the same as me? Let me know. Anyone else in chat? Come on, let me know. Yeah, 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 okay. You guys get me, you guys get me, okay? The thing with sensitive skin is that there's like a lot of things that tend to just make you break out. Um, it is fucking disastrous, and it is the most annoying thing in the absolute fucking world, okay? Because it, you, usually also you don't know, no, 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 do you know what it is, gamers? I don't know if, it's like the sixth sense, right? It's the sixth sense of, uh, having it on your face, and you have that in your mind, be like, oh yeah, this is gonna make me break out, this is gonna make me break out, I know it is, right? And I did, I broke out very badly, okay? Um, my skin, my skin broke out very badly after this day, right? But, I'm gonna explain something that made it all okay. Cause this is also my favorite video we filmed. Do you think my skin looks nice? Thank you, I've got makeup on. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I've got very blotchy face at the moment. Um, but I'm glad, oh my God, it does look clear. God damn, Amy, stop it. Um, so basically it was my favorite film, like video we filmed. It was so funny, it was so good. I'm so excited for it to come out. Genuinely, I'm so excited for it to come out, but I want to explain to you guys something that happened during the film shoot, which was my favorite moment. I think that is like topped my 2023 so far because it was just so sweet. And it was something you would never get in the UK. Also, I'm gonna thank all the subs in a moment. You would never, it would never happen in the UK. It would never, okay? Basically, right? We were in the middle of this uh, video shoot and me and Freddie were actually out. We were filming out in Miami. We were filming like, out, outside in Miami, right? And this, um, there was obviously a lot of, like, cameras with us. And basically, um, this little kid comes up to us. And he's like, this little kid comes up to us and comes up to me. And he goes, like, what are you guys doing? And I explain, like, oh, we're doing, we're doing a video. We're doing a video, right? And this, uh, this, this, <laughs> this little kid, this little kid, like, looks up at me. And he's like, um, he says to me, and he's like, oh, that's really cool. And I, he must have been, like, seven years old. He was very young. He was very little. And he had like he had like spiky hair and everything, and he, he was so sweet. Um, and then he like because he ran over through like all, through the park, and he looked at and he, and he was speaking to me, and I was like, oh yeah, like we're doing we're filming something, and he's like, oh that's really cool, and he was kind of like looking at me for a little bit, and then he goes and then he says this right, and I'm not even kidding, I this made my day, and he goes like this, ready? Okay, have a great day, take care now, and he runs off. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I went like this. Cause I turned and all the crew like were do like doing the same thing as me. And they all went, and I was like, what the fuck? It was so cute. He was adorable. He fully was just like, he, he, I thought wouldn't happen in the UK. Cause the UK equivalent of that 
would have been, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, you fucking weirdo. That would be the UK edition, all right? The UK edition would be like, you fucking weirdo, what are you fucking doing? Yeah, you fucking idiot. Yeah, you are. That's what would happen. Okay? This little fucking American kid came up to me and said that to me. And I was like, oh my god. You fucking sweetie pie. It's so cute. Genuinely. I made my day. I was like, that is fucking adorable. It's so cute, right? It was so sweet. And then we got back. We got the makeup off and all that cool stuff. Um, I don't think what else we did after that. I think we... I think we went to Target after that, actually. I think we went to Target. Went to Target. It was fun. Uh, I love Target anyway. I got some crisps. Um, what did I get in Target, actually? I got something else. I got blue Gatorade. And then I got um, crisps. That, 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 uh, what's the word? There's like, there's, um, these crisps that Gucky likes I got because I was, I was, I was missing Gucky. So I got crisps that Gucky liked because I'm an idiot. Um, and then we went to the hotel and then like, yeah, I couldn't sleep. I wasn't sleeping that well over the last, over, over through the nights. Because the thing with me, I don't sleep well anyway. Oh, okay. I'm going to explain. I have an issue where if I'm away from my girlfriend, I notice that I usually get things that I may not like that much. But Gucky does. If I miss her. But I do it subconsciously. I do it very subconsciously. Which I don't realize. Because I did the same thing. We went to a Starbucks. And I got um. No no no. We went to. We went somewhere. And I got like an iced tea. I don't like iced tea. But Gucky does. So I got it. And it's like. I don't know why I do it. And it, and it, it's, it's, it's like engraved in my brain. Because I'm like. I don't know. It's, it's yeah. Yeah. So, but anyway, 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 anyway. Um, I do like iced tea, but not usually. Gucky does, though, because Gucky does, can't have caffeine. Um, so anyway, George, like, the 20 months. So basically, then, um, the next day, right, was a Wednesday. Uh, it was another, it was another, uh, video I was doing. Um, some people were doing, like, Ran was doing a different video shoot that I was doing that day. Um, you guys, you, you guys know which one Ran was doing. Um, but I was doing this other one, right? I'm going to explain a story that is the most interesting story that I, it's just, okay, it's not, not interesting as in weird, interesting just because of the fact that I, it was me that had to do this, okay? Um, so basically, right, um, I, we were doing a video shoot, but the problem is, okay, I, okay, so basically, okay, so the way that my, the way that I, I'm, like, my, my physique, right, the issue is that whenever I go to do photo shoots or whenever I go to do like video shoots or anything like that, they tend to not actually have anything that fits me. Because of the fact that anything that would usually fit me would be women women's clothing. Um, and I obviously don't like women's clothing. I, I don't wear, I, not, not strictly feminine clothing, you know? Um, and that was, that's been an issue. Every single time I've done a video shoot, a photo shoot or anything like that, I've never been able to get clothes that are my size to the point that I just, I have, they, they just have to like pin it, right? The problem was for this video shoot, they needed to get me clothing that fit me, right? Um, and the, there was only one clothes store. There was only one clothes store that was near where we were video shooting. There was only one fucking clothes store. And it was called... The Miami Fetish Factory. But yeah, and the worst part was, they still didn't have anything on my fucking size. We did get clothes there that I did wear for the for the shoot. Um, but it still wasn't my fucking size. It was still oversized. So I had to endure it. That was, it was a time. It was a time. It was a fucking time. Okay, it was a time. It was a time. Yeah, um, so that was great. That was really good. Uh, it was so fun. 
Uh, it's so great, guys. It's so quicky. Um, but yeah, it was it was awful. Because when, literally, it was so... Can you actually use your own clothes? No. Because you got to realize, gamers, when it comes to doing video shoots, like, like, what, like when they're planned video shoots, usually we can't wear our own clothes because of the fact that... Um, because of the fact that it's probably going to get dirty. You know what I mean? Like, if we're wearing makeup or very particular styles, or when it comes to video shooting, they put you in clothing because they need that specific video. You know what I mean? Um, which is what, which is fine. Americans are fucking stupid. Why are Americans stupid? What happened there? Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, so that was great. Uh, moving on, moving on. It's all meant to be a, a certain way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, basically, then we move. Yeah, not that kid. We love that one little kid. So then the Thursday comes about, right? Thursday comes about. Um, the video shoot, it's, it's like a normal video shoot, it's like a normal one, uh, you know, it's like, it's, it, it's just a video, we do, we do, we do two videos that day, they are very good videos, they're very good videos, I really enjoy those ones too, right? Um, but, we have a great day, right, because, the entire trip, right, and also, from every other trip from before, TPK has always said to me, that when I turn 21, he is gonna buy me my first drink in America. Every single trip he has said it to me every single trip he always goes amy when you're in america i'm gonna buy you your first drink when you turn 21 and i'm like cpk sure you can that's exactly what we fucking do the minute we get off filming on that day we all go to a place and me and cpk the 21 year olds and we we have some drinks with some of the crew that are 21 and we, we have some drinks, okay? We have some drinks. I had a little mango slushy thing. It was nice. It was, it was, it was, it was all right. You know, I would have preferred a vodka cranberry, but they don't have them for some reason. Um, but yeah, so we, we were drinking. And for some reason, the way that this night, the way that this night, I don't know what really happened because we ended up making a rap song. Me, CPK, Ran, and our friend Danny, we made a rap song. Um. Yeah, no, I'm never showing you it. It's so bad. But at the time, it went hard. It went hard. If you guys saw my tweet, if you guys have my notifications on Twitter, you guys know I tweeted one of the worst rap lyrics you can think of, right? Because I wanted to know, because we were, basically, what happened was, we were, we were all, like, like, talking about, like, really bad rap lyrics. And then we actually came up with one that rhymed, and then we just kept going from there. And then it turned into whatever the fuck it turned into, and it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was no, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. Um, it was bad. It was bad. Um, share it, please. Listen, I was saying to CPK Ran and our friend Danny, I was like, what if... We do release it next time. Like, we'll, we'll actually... We'll not release it, actually, but we actually all, like, actually do it. It's bad. It's very bad. It's But it's funny. It's funny because it's so bad. Maybe. You know what, gamers? Maybe. Maybe Maybe. Maybe it'll be the next sub goal. I'll release the rap song, okay? Um, but anyway. Anyway, so... No, no, nobody... No, not... Aimsy equals alcoholic. I had one drink! I'd more than one, but like, okay. I need to one, 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 one sec. I'm destigmatizing this. Okay, listen. Just because somebody has a drink does not equal alcohol uh, alcoholism, right? And I really hate that people always do that because every single time, for some reason, I talk. Okay, wait. I'm, this is gonna be a really quick sway because it, it, it. I know it was deleted, but it kind of this annoys me a little bit. So I'm just gonna. Um, I'm, okay, I'm just gonna quickly do this real quick and then we're gonna move back to the story time because it really pisses me off. Every single time, every time, every time on stream, every time on stream I always mention like me drinking. I am, I am 21 years old. I, I have spoken about me drinking alcohol before. Blah, blah, blah. I, I do, I drink, you know? I am a 21 year old adult. I do drink. Every single time I do, somebody in chat is like, oh my god, you're an alcoholic. No, I'm fucking not. And it's like, it's very, it's very, it's very annoying that that is a dumb, like, that is not something. Yeah, yeah, I know, bio, bio, you're fine, bio, you're fine, bio, you're fine, you're mocking them, it's fine. But it's, it's really, it's really annoying that people do that thing where they push that kind of agenda of like, oh my god, you're an alcoholic, oh my god, it's crazy. And it's like, I think, I think the one thing that annoys me is like, addiction, and I don't think we should be pushing 
addiction. I don't I don't think we should be pushing that as a joke. I'm being like, oh my god, you're an alcoholic because you had like three drinks. Um No. And it just really pisses me off because it's like, I don't know. Maybe other streamers. Okay, this, this is just my thing. Uh, once again, this is, I'm, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna set this boundary. I don't really like those kind of jokes on me when people are like, oh my god, you're an alcoholic. I have I have struggled with addiction um, and I don't really like it. I've spoken about this in the past before. I don't really like it when those things are being put onto me. Um, I, don't really, I don't really like when those kind of names are put onto me because it makes me feel a bit weird because I'm like, man, that's a bit weird that people are like, oh my god, you're being an alcoholic right now. It's like, no, but you know, don't say that, you know, that's not really something to push. Anyway, I want, uh, TLDR, TL no, you're good, you're good, Sage. TLDR, 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 I want to be able to talk about things that I do without people making it a weird thing. Okay, moving on, boom. Yeah, we're good? Sorry, I got a bit, uh, sorry. Okay, all good, all good, moved on, we're good. It was just a quick thing, we're all good. If you made one of the jokes, you were absolutely fine, it's just better for me to set that boundary. It's better for me to set that boundary so that somebody else doesn't make the mistake rather than it continue, all right? Drink responsibly. Probably, bubbly, bubbly. Okay, go. Cool. Love you guys. Sorry if that changed the mood a little bit. I just wanted to make sure to put that there so that it wouldn't happen in the future and then I get even more pissed, you know what I mean? Moving on. So, basically, then we, um, we, 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 we made the rap song. It was very interesting. And then we went back to the mistress office, right? And what was really funny is we... Okay, so if you guys don't know, there is a trend on TikTok. There is a trend on TikTok where you get karaoke music and you've got to basically try and guess the lyrics of what's being sung. <laughs> Me, Freddy, our friend Danny, CPK and Ran did that. And it was the funniest fucking thing I have ever seen in my goddamn life. It was hella- it was so funny. It was so funny. It was so good. If you guys don't know the trend, the trend is basically you have like karaoke lyrics in front of you, but you can't see them. And you've got to basically try and guess what the lyrics are. So for example, if I got like- like if like All Too Well, 10 Minute Vision, Taylor's Vision from The Vault came on, right? Uh, and like I would have to try and guess the lyrics. There's no videos to this game. There's no videos. I'm just explaining story time. There's no videos to this. Um, I'll, I'll show you pictures after the story time's done of like everything. But um, but it was so funny because it was just like, I, it was just, it was a mess. It was an absolute fucking mess, which made it so much better. It just made it so much better. Why is my, wait, yeah. Chat, you still here? My, my, oh, wait, my OBS crashed? Hold on. Okay, sorry, game. My my OBS crashed. Sorry, my bad, my bad chat, my bad chat. Okay. Okay, ready? Ready? Okay, so we did that. It was very, very, very funny. We had like we we kind of just chilled. Um we kind of just chilled for that night. And then disaster strikes the next day. So the next day. Um, I'm like, I'm fine. You know, I end up heading back. Um, I end up heading back to the hotel. Everything's fine. I wake up at 6 a.m. Right? I wake up at 6 a.m. Because I have a temperature. I have a very high temperature. My entire body is boiling hot. Right? Very, very hot. And I am throwing up. I'm vomiting, okay? At first, I thought, okay, maybe I'm just a bit hungover. But I didn't drink enough to the point that I would be hungover. And then I'm like, okay, maybe it's because I can't drink on my meds, which would make sense. But the real reason is, I was just very fucking unwell. I think my Me and my mum think it was food poisoning. Because basically what happened was I was like, I was very unwell. Like, I, it was 6 a.m. I had a very high temperature. I was sweating buckets. I was gone. I was, like, really fucking unwell. It was bad, right? And it was... Okay, and I'm going to explain. From 6 in the morning all the way until 10 a.m., I was shaking, trying to go back to sleep because I was so unwell. 
It was so bad. It was really bad. I had to miss that shoot because I physically could not look. I couldn't even look at my phone without throwing up. It was bad. Well, meds are on antidepressants. You can't. You shouldn't really drink an antidepressants. Um, the flor I don't know what it was. It was either food poisoning. It was either Florida. It was something. I don't know what it was. But it, I had like. I, I had like. Because what was happening? I had an intense migraine while shaking, while shivering, and also being way too hot. It was bad. I hated it. Um, and then eventually, you know, it was fine. You know, I woke back up at about three p.m. and I was still really unwell. Uh, I was still really unwell, so then I basically, I, I was good, I was good, but I just kind of went over, um, I, I waited for a calm down and stuff like that, and then I just chilled for the rest of the day. Um, yeah, it was not fun, it was not fun, it was not fun at all, um, but I, I get sick, this is the thing, every single time I'm in America, you guys know this, I, my favorite thing I always do, I'm always like, oh my god, you guys know this, and I'm just expect, I just hope you guys do know this, I get sick very often, because I have a very low immune system, I get sick very, very, very easily, um, it's one of the reasons why I wear my mask a lot, um, which is one thing, is very strange, people's fascination with why I wear masks so much, what is that? Why, do, why are people so fascinated? Every single time I do a Q&A or anything like that, and I wear a mask, everyone's like, why is MC wearing a mask? Why are you wearing a mask? I'm like, because I'm on public transport. I think I'm just conditioned to, th anyway, but yeah, um, I, I, I like to wear, I like to, I, I get sick very fucking easily, I, it's, it's, it's fucking insane, if somebody has a cold, and they have been in my vicinity, I will probably get the cold, oh my god, yeah, people are like, oh my god, Amy, why don't you show your face anymore, when every single day I stream, I do show my face, I don't know, people are strange, um, so then, anyway, um, what's, where, where was I now, wait, um sick i get sick so yeah every time i'm in florida i do get sick at one point it's fine it's whatever um it's because i also i also can't eat american food there's something about american food that i really can't eat i don't know why um so when i go out i usually pack like a bunch of um i usually pack a lot of my noodles like chicken noodles that i eat because because of that you know um and then, I'm trying to think of what else happened then. So it was fine. I had some of that. It was great. It was fine. It was fine. So after, that was on the Thursday since Friday. No, fr no, that was the Friday. Sorry, that was the Friday. So now Saturday. Saturday was a fun day. Because we had literally only like two or three things to do. And then we were finished. We were finished. We were done. So I was like, holy shit. Guys. I'm not, I don't know if I want to I can spoil this. I got to try the Minecraft ice cream for a video. And it was so good! I really liked it! Um, the, the mint one was my favorite. There's Minecraft ice cream. It's made by... I don't know what it's... It's been out for a bit. If you guys don't know it, Google it. Google it. Um, but I got to try it for a video. And it was so fucking good. It was really, really good. Um, I really liked it. I didn't know it was a thing until recently. Um, but yeah, I was very, very, very happy about it. I'm gonna have some coffee real quick. There you go. Um, but yeah, it was very, very nice. Was, I actually really, really liked it. Um, and I also tried Girl Scout cookies. That was interesting. I've never tried Girl, Girl Scout cookies before. The only thing I ever knew about Girl Scout cookies was um, through friends. It was good. Um, I liked my favorite one was the mint, the thin mints and the lemon ones I liked. And the, the, uh, the coconut one. The coconut, I don't know what it's called. I also like the, um, the oat one. The oat one was nice. I didn't like, I didn't like much of the else. I will be honest. Um, but yeah, Thin Mints are banging. I really love the Thin Mints. Those fucking banged. I loved them. I loved them. The coconut ones, yeah, they were banging. Um, but I've never, guys, we don't have them in the UK, so that's why I never had them before. We don't have them, we don't have them here, you know what I mean? Um, so we had that, that was fun, and then that was it. Then after that, me, Ran, and Sniff went to, to the mall. The mall. The mall mall. Went to there, and, um, and I got some, some, I got two new jumpers. I got, I got two new hoodies, which I'll show you guys eventually. Um, 
I'll show you guys eventually the new hoodies. They're very cool. I very I very like them. I like them a lot. Like a bear mole. Sure. Um. So then I got some. I got some new clothes. I got a uh, Gucky. Gucky. I think. Wait. Is Gucky wearing the jumper I got them today on stream? Let's find out. Let's find out. I think they are. They are. The the, the jumper that Gucky's wearing is the one that I got. Gucky. Um. But yeah. There you go. But yeah. So basically, we we that was basically it. It was it was very very quirky, very fun. Um, well, ice cream. I I had all the MC ice creams. I had, like every single one. It was very nice. I really liked them. I really did like them. I was a fan. I was a big fan. I was a big fan. Um, and then I went to the mall. Um, and at this point, I was getting very homesick. Um, not because. Okay, the thing with me and traveling. Listen, I am neurodivergent, right? Yes, I'm 21 years old, but I'm also neurodivergent, which means the... What? Okay. <laughs> he has a little wisp. He has a little wisp. Oh my god! He has a little wisp! Okay! Fucking congratulations! I'm so proud! <laughs> imagine! Imagine coming into my chat! And be like, oh my god! Your friend had surgery and now he has a lisp! What are you gonna do, Amesy? Amesy! Amesy, what are we gonna do? Amzy! Your friend has a lisp! Oh my god! Save him! You went into the one person who also has a fucking lisp. You, what do you think I was gonna do? Am I gonna be like, oh my god, yay! Brother! Me too! I've also got one! We can be friends! We can be homies! Shut up! Oh my god, we're so siblings! We both have a lisp right now! Oh my god, holy shit! Shut the fuck up! Loser! <laughs> Me when I bond over our mutual speech impediments! Holy fuck! We got lisp! Oh my god, anyway, sorry, that was so fucking funny. Oh my fuck. Oh my god. Woo! I'm sorry, I'm sorry if that was a bit too harsh, but that was just really funny. That was just so funny. Okay, anyway. Um <laughs> so at this point, what's talking about? Um, at this point, I was like, I was really exhausted. I wanted to go home. I was very, very tired. I was um I I I my I, my brain my brain was doing the fra- the, 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 is my- basically the way that I describe the way that my brain works, um, I explained this before, but it's like TV static, and there are times where the dial is like medium, but which is the usual, where I, it's the TV static, but I can drown- I, I- I can- I can cope, I can drown it out, and if I've got headphones on or something like that, it drowns it down to like 30%, but it's still there. My TV static, it was all the way up, it was like 90- it was like at 90% at this point. Right? I was- I needed to go home. I was so tired. Um, and it just happens. It's nothing I can control. I was just ready to go home. Um, and- and that was it. I was like- I was like, I'm ready! I'm ready! So, after that day, um, I packed. And then the next day, I was on Mimosy way home. Um, and then it was plain- it was- it was plain time part two, baby! I fucking hate planes. Thank you for the raid. Um, I don't like flying. I really don't, okay? I really don't like flying. I fucking hate it. And it's so annoying that my job requires me to travel so much. Um, like what my like my, my actual core job. Because the problem with it is I, I just hate flying so much. I, I physically I can't I can't like express it enough. I just don't like um what's the word? The whole thing with me and flying is I hate I hate, like, the whole thing of trying to, like, 
I have to sit in one spot for a very long period of time. The pressure kills me off. Um, but yeah, anyway, we went, to, we went to Miami airport to get ready for our flight. Me, Bill, our friend Danny and Freddie. Um, Ran, Ran was, had already gone because Ran's going somewhere else. And we went to this and basically we checked in. It was fine. It was fine. Oh my God, no, I have a story time. I have a story, I forgot about this. Okay, I completely forgot about this. You guys are gonna love this. So we were checking in, right? We were checking in. Everything was fine. Everything was normal. Um, uh, we were we were getting our boarding passes, right? Um, we got our boarding passes and we started walking away. And I, you know when you know when you just like open up, you check your boarding pass, blah blah blah. I look at my boarding pass, right? And I'm a bit concerned. I'm like, wait a minute, this doesn't look right. The airport, Miami airport gave me the wrong person's boarding pass. Not even that. It meant my luggage was in this person's name too. The way they messed this up was basically because this person had the exact same initials as me and the system must have just done it wrong so i had to then line up again in this fucking line to go speak to the attendant and be like hey you gave me the wrong one and they were like oh they, they literally were like oh because the, the the person like the um the the, the clerk the desk the person like they literally were like oh like they, they were like oh fuck i've messed up because that is a if you guys don't know that is a huge mess up okay because it should not have been that easy to mess up that bad um they were on they were they were not on, no they were on my flight which is fine the person was on my flight which was fine but the problem with it however was my luggage was in their name which means that person could legally take my luggage right that is the problem two the fact that i had different seating um so you know what i mean it was bad um so basically the person was like oh fuck because also it meant this person was checked in when i wasn't checked in so I wasn't technically at the airport then, which then they legally couldn't say that I was there yet, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, got it checked. It was all done. I got it checked. Um, I got my actual boarding pass. We canceled the last one. And then we had to wait for the other, blah, blah, blah. It was fine. Um, so it was good. Then we had 30 minutes to wait for fucking security. I was starving. I was so hungry at this point. I was dying. My little tummy was rumbling. I needed to get out. Okay, I needed to get out. So we go through security and we go straight because basically we look at we look at this like little sign thing that tells us all the different food places, right? Now me and Freddy, me and Freddy spot something. Me and Freddy spot a cheeky little place, right? There is a restaurant that is literally an Irish pub. My girlfriend is Irish. So my motherfucking ass is walking straight to that Irish pub, right? I'm walking straight. I'm like, I'm getting food from that Irish pub. I'm going to eat. I need food. I love pub food, all right? If you're British you uh, or Irish, you love pub food is fucking superior, all right? It's like really nice chippies, you know, chippies or like like egg and gammon or like steak or like, you know, burgers, you know, like pub food. It's, it, it's good. I love pub food. I, I was a pub kid growing up, okay? I was a pub kid. I love pub food, all right? So basically when we went to the Irish, we went to the Irish pub, it was fine. It was packed. It was absolutely packed. Um, and it, it, it was okay. But the food... The problem was, it was an American... It was an American diner trying to make and um, replicate pub food. It wasn't... It, it was labeled as chips. It was fucking fries. It was fries! It wasn't even chips. Because it was like, it was like, um, it was like steak and chips. Because obviously that's like, you know, that's the, the pub food, you know, proper like, thick chips with the steak. No. I had fucking fries. I was so upset. I was so upset. Because I was like, God fucking damn it. Because there was also, um, there was also, you could get like fish and chips. And the chips, what chips? Um, okay, so I'll, I'll show you. Hold on. Um, fries versus chips. 
Uh, I will explain. Hold on, I'm getting an image up for, for no one. All the other people are very confused. Um, okay. Um, image as... Boom, boom. I'm, I'm showing you guys. It wasn't good. No, the steak wasn't good either. Hold on. Uh, image. Hold on, gamers. Hold on, gamers. Hold on, gamers. Boom. Okay, it's very blurry. But do you guys get the gist here? Okay, so as you guys can see, you see where it says the like the chips. They're thick chips. Okay, but then the fries are really skinny chips. They're skinny. Like we don't call. Them, I don't. I know. I don't know many British people who call them fries. We call them chips. Because we, we even call the skinny one chips. Okay. Um. But those are chips, all right? Chips are like thick, thick things. Okay, st steak fries, yeah, steak fries. Um, steak cut fries, yeah. But yeah, this Irish pub was saying that the one on the right, the fries, the fries were chips. That is not accurate. And also, someone, uh, there's people in chat being like, oh, but I like both. I don't like fries that much. Because I like chips, because I like potato. Fries are a bit air. Eh. Um, I don't like fries that much. They lied to me, and I was upset about it. I was hungry. I was sad. It was sad. And then I also queued up. I also queued up um to get a Starbucks because I wanted basically. Okay, so my girlfriend really likes um cake pops. Do you know? Do you know the? Uh, do you know? Do you know the birthday cake pops? Gucky really likes them. So I was gonna queue up. I was gonna queue up, and I was gonna bring some back to the UK. They didn't even have any fucking cake pops. So I was like, man. So then we were done at this point. So basically, um, me, me, Freddie, our friend Danny and Bill, we just went on a walk throughout this entire airport. We were all very hungry. None of us really ate because none of us really, really had any food in the Irish pub. It wasn't nice. So we just went on a walk um, and we got some snacks. And that was basically it. Because like basically Freddie... Freddy, Freddy was fine with it because Freddy was going to eat on the plane. I can't eat plain food, so I was basically just trying to get as much snacks as possible to eat. And I also got melatonin to eat. To, to eat. I got melatonin to have on the plane so I could have that and I could like, um, I could try and sleep. Because like I said, I don't sleep. I'm, I'm, I very much am not able to sleep. It's, it's a terrible existence, but I just can't sleep. Um, so I had melatonin and I literally had, like, I had, I had more than I was meant to have, right? Um... And it didn't even fucking work. The only time I literally slept for the last three hours of the plane, and that was it. Like I was done at that point. Um, but on the plane, it was honestly, I'm gonna be honest, the plane wasn't actually that bad. I'm gonna be completely honest, the plane wasn't that bad. Um it, it, I'm gonna be real, because what I, what I had was um I I I I had some, I had some Skittles, I had some Oreos that I brought on with me. Um, and then I watched Booksmart. I watched Booksmart many times before. If you guys don't know what Booksmart is, it's 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 a it's a movie. I really like it personally. It's not for everyone's taste. I really like Booksmart. Um, I think it's very very good personally. I think it's very funny. It's very it's very like not it's very cringy in the way that it is, but I like it. It's a good movie. I like Booksmart. Um, so I watched Booksmart. Um, and then I just kind of chilled on my phone. I kind of just chilled. Um, on my phone. Um, and then, yeah, then I was waiting to land. I do have some photos. I will, I will, I, I'm gonna, because the problem is I can't show you, I can't show you most of the photos that I have, obviously, because, um, they're from shoots that I'm not allowed to show you guys yet, so I'll have to show you guys when I'm able to. Um, but I will see what ones I can show you. Um, hold on. Let me, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh... Which ones can I show you? Uh, hold on, hold on, boys. I'm looking. I'm looking. Hold on. I'm having a cheeky gander. Because yeah, the thing is, all these photos are ones that I'm not actually able to show you guys, because they're all from the shoot. So I actually don't have that many photos to show you. But I will. I will look for some that I can show you just for now. While we're while, while we're here, while we're here, we're having a good time. Um. Hold on. I'm trying to look. I'm sorry, gamers. It's taking me ages. Uh. Hold on. Okay, so this is me and Freddy. I can show you this one. Me and Freddy in one of the shoots. There you go. 
That's one of them. Um, I already showed this one, but like it's me. I was falling asleep at this point. The vest. Oh yeah, that was. It was very heavy. It was very fucking heavy. Um, sorry, games. I'm just trying to look. This is ran before they had to leave. That was ran before they had to leave. It's a very nice little picture. Um. Hold on. This is me and Danny on the plane. We were, we were both exhausted. We were both so tired. Um, yeah, I don't have any photos I can show. I'm so sorry, gamers. It's okay. When the, when the photos, when the, when the videos come out, you guys will see them. When the videos come out, you guys will see them, okay? I promise. Hold on, I'm trying to see if there's any more. Hold on. I'm trying to see if there's any ones that I haven't shown you guys already. That's what I'm trying to look, but I don't think there is. This one made me laugh. This is a screenshot that Ran sent to me. Because it's really funny how how throughout... Okay, so do you know the Pictionary video that came out? The Mistress Pictionary video that came out? What's very funny about the entire video is I am sitting like this. I am man-spreading for the entire video. While Ran is, li is like this. Like that, with like folded legs. And we both just found it really funny that we were like... We were very much polar opposite vibes because that's how I sit usually. I've explained this before, right? I can't really sit in chairs. I'll either sit on the back of a chair, like I'll sit up like, um, like, like, I'll sit like that, like up on a chair, or I sit like this, where I'll like, I'll fully man spread, right? Like, I, I, I'm like this, you know? And Ran, however, the way that Ran sits is Ran sits like this. You know, like Ran sits very much like that. And we just find it very funny that that entire video is just basically showing that physically and i found that very funny i found that quite quirky in my opinion um i don't know i don't know how this i don't know how this is like either that's the thing i've been saying i don't i have no idea i've actually no fucking clue no fucking clue um but yeah it was very funny but yeah that was a florida story time what do you think what do you think um sorry it wasn't uh, sorry if it wasn't that entertaining do you guys like do you guys like the way that I tell stories? Because a lot of people, a lot of people throughout the chat today were all saying, like, Amy, the way I love the way you tell stories. I'm glad you guys do. I'm glad you guys do. Um That's it's very funny. Um, what I was gonna say as well, gamers, obviously, there is a schedule for this week. You guys are fucking excited. I'm a real streamer. I'm a real streamer. Um, there is a there is a schedule for this week. Which is um Tomorrow is no stream. Wednesday is stray. Thursday is the coffee cast. Friday is stray. Saturday is going to be um, no stream. Sunday is I, it wasn't actually meant to be a stream on Sunday, but there is going to be a stream on Sunday. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing Stardew. I'm gonna be doing Stardew with Gucky. Uh, I've never played stray before. Um, and then uh, then we're gonna be doing little nightmares after that. Yay! So it's gonna be exciting. It's exciting. It's exciting. Okay, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. But yeah. So yeah, I won't be. I won't be live tomorrow. I'll be live the next day after. Uh, who's in the coffee cast? I'm not telling you guys. You guys will see. But yeah. Yippee! All right. All right. Thank you, gamers, for uh, for for chilling with me. For chilling with me today. It's be very nice. I won't. I won't see you guys tomorrow. But I will see you guys for stray the the, the day after. If you guys want to follow, this is your chance. This is your chance to follow. It's your last chance to follow. Even go, 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 go. Follow, 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 follow. Go, 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 go. All right, we're gonna raid. We're gonna raid Gucky. When is Frambo? Frambo's gonna be after Little Nightmares. Because the thing is, I've got a lot of Minecraft and stuff like that that I'm gonna be doing. Also for the VIP thing, gamers, I am adding new VIPs, but not on stream. I'm gonna be adding them a little bit later. I'm, the, my VIPs were never meant to be this big thing in my community. Um, and, and I feel like it's kind of turned into that a little bit where people are like expecting them as well as like hoping that they get it. And I don't want that because it's not meant to be like a popularity kind of thing. My VIPs are meant to just be people who I see in chat a lot. Um, and that, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit scared that people are gonna be mad at me if they don't get it, which is what I'm worried about. So I'm gonna just do them offline. Please don't get upset if you don't get VIP. I'm just going to give a few people who speak a lot. That's what the whole point of it is anyway. Okay. All right. Bye, gamers. Love you guys. Love you guys. See you guys. Not tomorrow, but the day after. Boom, 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 boom. We're going to raid my girlfriend. Go say hi. Be nice to her, please. Thanks. Bye.